hear from. Your past is a gift. Okay, so in this video, I wanted to address the subject of work, okay? Because work can be a blessing or a gift in so many ways. Now, I know, I know, okay, even just in within my family, there are so many people that go to work that hate their job, okay? So this is what I want to address in this video. There are so many aspects to this topic because, okay, first you have to sit down and decide, is it the work that you don't like? The actual work that you're doing? Are you finding it boring? Is it not stimulating you in any way? Is it something that you're doing it just for the money? Okay, um, so you really need to sit down with it and look at the job that you're doing, you know, and decide for yourself, is it the actual work that you don't like doing? Okay, because I know for me, I've always sacrificed the money side of things for doing something that I really enjoy doing, always. You know, the piano lessons I've always done they're in the afternoons, so there's only a set amount of hours I can do them, but I love doing them. So no matter what money came in or didn't come in, because of those hours that I was working, I loved doing it. Um, the work I do now with the elderly during the day, I could do that for free, honestly. I wouldn't care if they paid me, they didn't pay me. Every time I go, half the time I forget to get the signatures because I just, I feel like I'm visiting them, like I'm a guest, so I'm just visiting, you know, and helping out with whatever I can. But I really enjoy being with them and helping them and making them feel, you know, that it's okay for them to stay in their own homes, you know, making them feel appreciated for everything they've done for everyone else in their life, you know, because just because you get to the end of it, it doesn't mean you don't have any value anymore. You know, we don't, we don't need you anymore. You're useless now, you're worthless to us because you can't work and contribute to society like you used to, you know, so all these things. So to me, that is a blessing. I really enjoy doing it. So the first thing you need to ask yourself is, is it the actual work that you're doing that you just don't enjoy? Okay, that's the first question. Now, a lot of people that go to work and they'll be co-workers or your boss or someone there, a supervisor, someone above you, that you clash with. You just don't get on with them, okay? And that makes it difficult to do this job. Okay, so if there is friction with someone at your work, this is such a golden opportunity for you, okay? Because we keep talking about how much we learn about ourselves and about others from relationships. That's what most of the videos are about, okay? So you have to look at, there's two things that you have to look at, and it's the same two things that you have to look at in every life situation that you have where you're interacting with another human being, okay? The first one is, what bothers you about the relationship? Okay, is it the way they talk to you? Is it the way maybe they put you down? You know, that maybe you're not good enough with what you're doing? All of these things is what you need to look at. And then, you know, you have to look at it from the pain that's coming from them, okay? So, when someone is not kind, when someone is rude, when someone puts someone else down, there is a pain that is causing this behavior, okay? they've been treated especially through their childhood they've probably been treated that nothing they ever do is good enough you know the other day we had a grandparents day at my little one's school right she's six she's in kindergarten and my little one you know she had her grandmother and her grandmother was just blown away because she just didn't know what what to say or what to do and she just couldn't believe right um, blown away is not the right word, but like there was this other grandmother, okay, in the same classroom. We're talking about the kindy classroom. Another grandmother telling her granddaughter that next time she expected better, that that wasn't good enough what she had done. These were the words. What she had done was not good enough for her level. She expected her to do better. And this is from a six year old or five year old in kindergarten, whatever the age of this girl was. 
But I'm thinking if that's the standard already at kindy where they don't have homework or anything important yet, <laughs> what's left for the rest of her schooling, you know? So there are ways to encourage children to do better, to do their best without having to make them feel like they're not good enough or what they've done is not good enough. Because if you start from that, you know, from them not being good enough, you're already setting the tone for their whole adult life, everything they do and how they interact with others. They're always gonna be making others feel that they're not good enough. You know, I, my grandmother came home and she was heartbroken, I think was the word, or just disheartened for this little girl because her expression, she was almost in tears. You know, and she thought, she's only kindy, you know, kindergarten child for this grandmother to be talking to her like that, you know, and so stern. Anyway, so you have to look at the other person and you have to really understand their pain, where they're coming from. If they are not kind to you or to the other co-workers or whoever it is, you know, how they're treating others is about how they feel inside about themselves. That's, that's number one, okay? The second part of it that you need to look at and you need to address is why is it affecting you? What are you believing? What are you taking away from that experience? Are you believing that what you've done isn't good enough? Are you believing that you're not good enough? Why are you getting upset over what they've said or what they've done? It's always the same. Relationships are always the same. Whether it's your husband, your wife, whether it's a partner, a friend, someone in the street, a complete stranger, or it's your boss, or it's a co-worker. You always have to look at yourself. Why is that affecting you? Why are you getting upset over it? Always look at that. It's the most, it's trying to tell you something. Being upset is trying to tell you something. You are believing something about yourself that's not true. And every time you do that, you're gonna go back to being upset over it. Every time, whatever it was. If you feel that you're not worthy of a promotion, of earning more money for what you do, you're not worthy. That's something that you're believing about yourself. This unworthiness comes from somewhere. You need to find that spot in your childhood. Where did that all start? Where did you start carrying this unworthiness with you? You know, that you're not good enough. This is all baggage that we carry and most of it is not ours. You know, mine, the not trusting others and not being able to share my problems, that came from my mum. You know, she would just, she was so insular, she would just shut everyone out, you know, and deal with her own problems and not let anyone know what was going on, you know? And she thought that was a sign of strength. I was so strong because I can do this myself and I don't have to share it. You know, and my mum at one stage almost had a nervous breakdown. I was 10, 10 years old at the time, and nine or 10, give or take. And she did, she almost had a nervous breakdown because she was just doing it all on her own. She just wasn't sharing any of it, any of the responsibility, of any of her concerns, her worries, any of it. You know, so really with your work, you know, if it's a job you really don't like doing, something else you know I'm gonna talk more in the next video about why it's so important if the work that you're doing is something that you don't enjoy doing you don't like doing it why it's so important to stop doing it for you all right I love you guys remember to click like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of the messages and I'll see you in the next video bye for now